Hello friends, welcome to this very interesting session on network analysis. We invite you all because this will be a very interesting session. Here we will be trying to solve some of the very complex network using tricks. So we engineers are always interested in tricks to find out easiest solution to the problems. Now this looks to be a very complex network but we will today see that how to solve it without using KVL or KCL. If you will go by KVL you will need to find out uh, uh, five different variables, uh, five loops will be there, one here, one here, one here, one here and one here. And also on KCL you will have many different points like this have five points. So five different equations you need to solve to find out five different variables and then you will be able to find out the current I which is going out from this voltage source. So we will avoid this thing and we will find an easier solution to our problem. Now let us understand this network. What is this network? It is identical across this axis ABC. This 7 ohm and 8 ohm are connected in this axis. And now this 6 ohm, 3 ohm, 2 ohm are on the right hand side. Also 6 ohm, 3 ohm and 2 ohm are on the left hand side. So it is identical. Now when these are identical, so uh, by voltage division rule, we know that the potential at point C, this point, potential at point C will be Vc is equal to 2, this one, this resistance into 1, the value of the voltage source upon 2 plus 2, the summation of both these resistance. So this Vc we can find out very easily like this and similarly with the same formula of voltage division rule, we can fi find out the voltage at Vb and also at vo the voltage at point A. So the thing is that the voltage will come out to be equal. It will come out to be 1 by 2 volts. 2 into 1 upon 4 that is 1 by 2 volts. So all the three voltages Va, Vb, Vc are equal and hence these points are called equipotential points. Now friends when we know that uh, current always flows from a potential uh, point of higher potential to a point of lower potential. Now when the points have equal potential and they are equipotential points, so the current is not going to flow. Now this situation can be very helpful to us because when current is not flowing from A to B or from B to C, we can consider these points either as short or we can consider them open. So the good thing about equipotential point is you can remember always and or write down somewhere that uh, the equipotential points if you find out two points which are equipotential you can short them or you can open them whatever feels convenient to you. Now in this case we have shorted it. So when we have shorted it the resistance does not hold any importance and we have removed the resistance between A, B and B, C. Now further uh, we can see that these three resistances have come in parallel and these three resistances have come in parallel. Now it is very simple. Now we need to solve these two resistances first and then the uh, equivalent uh, resistance of these two will be then uh, uh, parallel with this resistance to find out the easiest configuration. Now we have removed this resistance and uh, uh, instead of these two resistances we are putting an equivalent resistance. The value of this equivalent resistance will be 6 ohm parallel with 3 ohm. 6 ohm Parallel with 3 ohm can be found out by 6 ohm into 3 ohm upon 6 ohm plus 3 ohm. That is the formula for finding out the equivalent resistance of two parallel resistances. Now it comes out to be 18 upon 9. That is 2 ohms. So friends when we see that this 6 ohm and 3 ohm, this configuration whenever you see it in parallel, you see there an opportunity that the equivalent resistance will come out to be 2 ohms. Just write 2 ohm here and on also on the left hand side now this becomes a further simple network because 2 ohms have come in parallel with 2 ohms if we solve this the uh, we replace this with a single net uh, resistance and this comes out to be 2 ohm parallel with 2 ohm is 1 ohm okay so friends uh, 1 ohm in series with 1 ohm this this will become 2 ohms okay so this is uh, this is further uh, simplified our uh, uh, situation that now this has become uh, 2 ohms and this is a very simple network that, uh, that uh, 1 volt in parallel with a 2 ohm resistance and now we can very easily find out the current the current will be 1 upon 2 amperes okay uh, friends this was a, a very complex uh, network 
and with uh, easy method we have found out the uh, solution to it now let us move ahead to find out one more very interesting question uh, the question is very repeated repetitively uh, asked in the competitive exams this is a cube and each arm is having a resistance of 1 ohm okay so what we have to do we have to find out the equivalent resistance of the cube across diagonally opposite corners also we need to find the current this current if v this voltage source v is 5 upon 6 volt this is a very simple question and very repetitively asked so we are utilizing this question to understand the concept of equipotential point now let us see that this current i when it enters the network it will find three different routes this one this one and this one so the as the network is very uniform the current will divide equally between the three routes so i by 3 will go from here i by 3 will go from here and i by 3 from here uh, now this i by 3 will further divide into two parts i by 6 and i by 6 this i by 3 will divide into two parts i by 6 and i by 6 further uh, if uh, we see that this i by 3 will also divide into two parts i by 6 and i by 6 so uh, here uh, uh, these uh, currents further if we see that uh, these currents uh, 1 by 6 plus 1 by 6 will become 1 by 3 again this 1 by 6 and this 1 by 6 will become 1 by 3 again and this 1 by 6 and this 1 by 6 will become 1 by 3 again and this 1 by 3 1 by 3 and 1 by 3 these three currents will combine to become the current i which is exiting from the network this you always remember that uh, it is a very basic principle of networks that whatever current is entering to a network it has to go out from that network otherwise the uh, uh, fundamental that uh, current uh, or energy can ni neither be created nor be destroyed will not hold good now friends uh, this current is flowing i in this uh, outer network okay amount of current entering to a network is always equal to amount of current going out from the network now let us find uh, see what is the potential at uh, these points l m n so this potential is v and equal current uh, i by 3 is going out from these three branches and resistance of these three branches is also equal so when resistance is equal and current is equal the potential drop will also be equal i by 3 into 1 ohm resistance on all the three points so that's why these three points are equipotential points very important concept here that these three points are equipotential points similarly these three points p q and r are also equipotential because uh, uh, they are at a same location uh, or we if we see from the point b it is i by 3 uh, apart it is i by 3 apart and it is i by 3 apart so current is equal also the resistances are equal so that's why the potential at these three points will also be equal now when these three points are in uh, equal uh, potential so the previous concept that we can short them or we can open them it holds good so now we have considered them short and we are putting them uh, considering them as a single point we are trying to redraw the network for simplification so uh, now let us uh, uh, redraw the network here uh, this first three resistances these three resistances are uh, a between a and n there is one resistance between a and m there is one resistance between a and l there is one resistance so between uh, all these three points we can put three resistances uh, between a and lmn similarly between lmn and between pqr there are six different resistances you will see two resistances uh, are going from point l and also two resistances are coming in point p so in each of these points two two resistances are coming so that's why two into three we have put six resistances between these three points again at the point b at the point b uh, it is connected with point q it is connected with point p it is connected with point r so these uh, three resistances we have shown here so this is the equivalent uh, circuit of the uh, very complex uh, cube kind of structure this is the, uh, has now come out to be a very simple network because 1 ohm 3 resistances are connected in parallel 1 ohm 6 resistances are connected in parallel here and 1 ohm 3 resistances are connected in parallel here so these uh, equivalent resistances of these three com parallel combinations can be found out very easily 
this is 1 by 3 ohm this is 1 by 6 ohm this is 1 by 3 ohm now these three resistances are in series so r equivalent will be 1 by 3 ohm plus 1 by 6 ohm plus 1 by 3 ohm this r equivalent between a and b and this was desired from us now one more thing which is required to be found out now is the current if voltage is 5 by 6 volt so it is very easy if we know the equivalent resistance and we know the voltage so the voltage upon equivalent resistance becomes the current so now voltage is given is 5 by 6 volt the resistance we equivalent resistance we have found out it is 5 by 6 now the current becomes 1 ampere so these two the questions we have solved further uh, one more uh, uh, thing that uh, you might have seen this solution uh, if we apply kbl in the outer loop then also we can very easily find out the equivalent resistance but here the concept was we need to understand the concept of equipotential points so with kbl also you can very easily solve this cube question kbl in outer loop uh, if we apply it it becomes v minus i into r i is i by 3 and r is 1 ohm minus uh, i by 6 into r is 1 ohm minus i by 3 is the current and r 1 ohm is the resistance and finally uh, it goes to the voltage so this is the complete kvl equation you can